Hi. What's up, Roscoe's? Are we good? Are we ready? Oh, how are we doing tonight? Um, this is probably the most anticipated viewing party for me. I've been waiting for this. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's it's a real good one. Just to set the tone, uh, one of our guests walked into the dressing room and she said, she looked straight at me and said, Miley was good. We've already had to separate the divas. <laughs> it's really it crazy. I said, it, it, was, up. it was so good. I'm so excited. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the very gorgeous, the very talented Maya, Maya Iman, Iman LaPage. Yeah. Okay. Looks delicious. Yeah. Hello. Come on up. Come on up. And unfortunately, Jessica could not make it today. I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding. No, she's running. She's being very... Uh, have a seat. Have a seat. Bitch, everybody was like, what? No, no, no. We're kidding. They're like, we saw her yesterday at Steamworks. What are you <laughs> they know. Or they earlier know. today. Yeah. Uh, no, she's here. She's here. She's just running a few minutes behind. But Maya, how are you? Gorgeous. You look Hi. lovely. Thank you. So do you. Thank I'm feeling you. good. I'm feeling good. I'm a little hoarse, but we go get through. Now, is that... From all the working, are we feeling good? What's going on? It's from all the working. Yeah. In and out of different weathers and atmospheres, so I'm getting over it now. So. How how's the ride been so far? Uh, it's been it's been amazing, especially the guys. Ooh. <laughs> the boys. <laughs> That's why I she's live. hoarse. <laughs> Well, we have so much to talk about. A lot happened last week. We we're super excited to talk about everything. But before we do, you want to tell everyone that's watching, if you have not already and subscribe, please go ahead and subscribe. And I want to say thank you to all our VIP members. And if you want to be a VIP member, how can you do that, guys? One of you two, if you want to show up to work. <laughs> yes! Hit join. It's only one ninety nine. But and let's we're join beginning. the show. Let's, just, to kick let, it let's just go to the fucking show. Yeah, no, I, I, I saw the beauty coming. Hey. Are you okay? Okay. Before we get into the show, let's welcome Miss Jessica Wild to the stage. Welcome. How are you, Jessica? Thank you so much. Come again. Yeah. <laughs> I miss you so much, Chicago. Yes. How My are you? Good family. Mami. How are Bien, you? estoy feliz. I'm happy to be here. Excited about this new episode of season 16. Which is my next question. Are you watching season 16? Uh, I'm going to be honest. I'm not watching every episode, but I yeah. know what is happening. Yeah. Uh, I know my sister is lipsing for her, for her legacy every week. <laughs> Sending home everybody. And yes, um. So uh, let's go. We're well. Thank you for watching, and we're really happy that you're watching. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you appreciate. <it. laughs> oh <my God>. You're <laughs> thankful. <laughs> she was very that way. She's like, you know. Um, no. Thank you, Ru. Thank you, Mama Ru. <laughs> <laughs> we I miss her so much. It's been forever since I've seen her. But anyway, um, okay, really quick, we're gonna backtrack and go back to the last episode. So we're going back to when you got put in the bottom. And, okay, so you get put in the bottom. What was your feeling then, and did you think it was justified? Uh, we'll tell you right here. We, we talked about it upstairs, but <laughs> um, I felt like they, you weren't doing anything. Now, was that true, or was that the depiction that they, I hate to say edit, but <laughs> was that the edit? Um, I mean, you know... <clears throat> I could blame it on the edit. <laughs> but um, honestly, I, <clears throat> honestly, I actually were working. Sephira, the only thing Sephira did for me was cut out the, the, the bottom of it. And I actually, I sat on the machine literally hours and hours, and I sewed the dress up. And it was your design, correct? Yes. The, I wanted to go with that design with the, the lace in the back and the patent leather in the front. So let me ask you this, as a performer and known for flipping and the tricks, is this what you were terrified the most coming into Drag Race, design challenges? Absolutely. Yeah, because yeah, I, honestly, I never had the, the chance to sit down to learn how to sew because I was always working and yeah. traveling, so. Jessica, on All Stars, were you scared of design challenges more I than you? I love them. You, you love design oh, challenges. Oh, hell yes. <laughs> Those are my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Bitch, 
I fucking hate that sewing machine. <laughs> but the hot glue gun is my best friend. Yeah. The hot glue gun. Yes. Yeah, there's so many sewing challenges this season. Uh, yeah. Um, and so the, the problem is that at this point, if you complain about the sewing, you know they're gonna take those moments of weakness to destroy you on TV. Right. So that's why you better fake that you are a designer, you are Bianca del Rio, <laughs> yes. Fake but it till you now, make it, sister. And yes. I don't know how true this is, uh, but I was doing a little digging and they were saying that um, it was the writer's strike that prevented them from having so many more uh, like acting challenges and different challenges. So there were no writers. And another thing in Hollywood, if you were a writer and you were taking jobs when you weren't supposed to, you get blacklisted and you wouldn't work anymore because when you're uh, on the, uh, what do you, the, the, in the union. Union. When you're part of the union, when you're part of the union, you vote. You vote whether you go on strike or not. So if 70% people of the you know, writers say yes and you're part of that 30, you have to go along with the, the 70. So that's why there were so many supposedly, allegedly um, designer challenges. Did you feel that? So blame them. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I heard about oh, it, but... We're back. We're going to come back to that. We're going to come back to that. What the fuck? Yes! <laughs> what is happening? We're, we're going to go back to the other stuff. Let's talk about what we just saw, though, right now, because that, we, I feel like we have to. <laughs> that was so good. We have to. Uh -huh. yes. So our maxi challenge is writing lyrics and dancing. Um, after seeing Nymphia and Kugo, Maya, were you like, we're all safe this week? What were your thoughts? <sighs> um, <clears throat> <laughs> That's how they sound. <laughs> um, I definitely felt like I was safe because the lyrics weren't hitting. Yes. I mean, I know I had a little, I had a tweak up, tweak up in my lyrics, and yeah. Okay. <laughs> now we see on the side that the girls had a lot to say, but especially Dawn. Um, have you talked to Dawn since last week's episode and this week's episode? Um, I, I talked to Dawn, but it was very short. Mm, what was I the understand. interaction like? Was it just, hey, sister, these things are coming out. I said this. <laughs> yeah, no hard yeah, feelings. Definitely. She, yeah, come check in with mama. Okay. <laughs> Let me know what you said because I'm coming. How does it feel? And this is for Jessica, too. How does it feel when you're watching and you see the girls just talk shit and read? Because you know you see them in the workroom. They're like, how are you, poo? Girl, I'm good. Fully gagging you. <laughs> it's different. Well, in the workroom. Oh, girl, go. <laughs> Well, I think, it, I think it's part of the fun, especially when, when, when you're seated in the corner and I was falling asleep all the time. <laughs> I think it's that keep you up and alive. And, you know, it's, it's, I think it's a joke um, when, when you give criticism to the other girl or whatever. But, uh, well, you're shady, you know. <laughs> yeah, get her job. <laughs> What I mean is when you are shady. No lies were told. Yeah, when you are shady to me, I think it's part of the fun. It's it's a way of showing love, right? Yeah. You're always like, you're great. You're like, wait a minute, what's wrong here? Okay. <laughs> so it's it's when you get the shade, but it's funny because on All Stars we had a group chat, and every time an episode finished, somebody left the group chat because <laughs> <laughs> they would they would see something that somebody said, right? And they would leave the chat. Then someone would reach out and be like, girl, what's wrong? It's okay. Like, we love you. Then they come back, welcome her back. And <laughs> yeah, that, that, right. that's, like, that's like our group chat. Yeah. They don't leave out. They just won't post in there. Yeah. So, you know, I, I'm the one that always reach out to everyone and make sure everyone is good. Yeah. And then later on, they'll come back like, oh, hey, I'm back, bitches, and all that. <laughs> Maya, let me ask you this. You came into this competition very shy and kind of in your own shell and reserved. At what moment did you, like, you, 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 you have it together here? You're very confident. You're getting the girls back together. Your tongue is in. You're sharp. Like, what, when did you kind of switch? I think during the Snatch Game episode, it just kind of, they, they wanted me to show my personality. So I think once I showed it in the Snatch Game, I kept it going. Definitely. Yeah, we definitely see the switch here. And then we didn't know when last week when we saw the preview, we're like, whoa, whoa, yeah, who's I was that? Scared. Who's yeah. that? So it was like we, we wondered whether 
it was whether you were always like that or there was a switch. So there was a switch. Yes, it definitely was a switch. Yeah, there was a switch. Um, going into it, I couldn't really be myself because I was, I, honestly, I mentally wasn't prepared for the competition. Yeah. And I did the competition because Malaysia's like, oh, this your time, you need to go and do it. And this was my first time auditioning and I went and auditioned and I made it. And, and you deserve to be there, and you Absolutely. deserve to be there. Thank now, I, I did hear a little rumor that last minute, <laughs> oh, we will be back. Okay, so we get to see the rehearsal process with Jamal Sims. Um, how was he working with Wait. you? We, we want to go back to, to the last oh, yeah, question. The, yeah, you yeah. had a rumor. Yeah, so yeah. Let's go, let's go back to that, and then we're going to go to, to Jamal. Um, okay, so I heard a little rumor that in your preparation, right before like you were getting ready to leave, I think a designer either didn't show up with your stuff or didn't ship you your things. Um, is there any truth to that, and what exactly happened, if so? Um, both is true. Um, actually, all the things just kind of like screw me over, because those... The looks that I did present, I didn't want to present, but I had no choice but to get them because leaving, I was leaving at 6, 6 a.m. to go to the airport. I got the looks back that I wore on the show at 3, 4, 4 a.m. in the morning. And I kind of just laid down. I was like, forget it. I'm not going no more. But something just hit me and said, God put you in this position, so let's go. Let's, let's go make TV. And... I was blowing his phone up, the one that had the runway looks. I was blowing his phone up, no call, no no response, nothing. And it's time to leave. I just threw dresses and things that I had in my closet already in my bag, packed it up and went to the airport and flew to um, LA. And then they kind of was giving him the, they, they gave him the chance to send the looks. Never sent them. When I got home, he told me he sent the looks but he used it, he used someone FedEx account and it came back as fraud. Wait, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. So is there any record of it like being shipped? Okay, but ain't nothing was yeah. shipped. Ain't nothing was shipped. Wow. How many looks was this? He had five looks. Wow. And those were the main looks that I needed. There was the share look. It was the um, Mother, um, the ball look. Um, what else? What else? It was, it was, it was more looks. It, it, Listen, I don't know. I, I definitely probably would have thrown the towel. I commend you for going. I mean, to go with what you have is, is pretty fierce. Uh, Jessica, did you experience anything like that while you were getting ready? <laughs> <laughs> I remember uh, I received a box with one of the... Uh, it, it was like for the family thing. And I was like, yes, I have these options here. And it was just the fabric with a note, like, I'm sorry, I didn't have time to make them. And I was like, all right, let's be a designer. <laughs> for, I was like, I hope I don't make it to that episode. And I did. <laughs> oh my God. Now, can, can you tell, I don't know if we talked about this the last time that you were here, but can you tell everyone about when you took that one costume that you put it up and then you looked across the room and someone else put the same one up in there? Oh, yes. Well, I'm going to say name, right? Yeah, Sorry. yeah, yeah. That's the whole point. Give so, the so I had an outfit. I was like, this outfit is for a lip singer, for a very, very tropical. And Monica Beverly Hills have the same outfit. Like exactly to the T, and I'm Same like one. Uh, one outfit that I cannot use here <laughs> because you try, she she wrote, wore that for a runway. Yeah, so I'm did. like mm, that outfit, fuck, and actually gave me allergies. <laughs> yeah, I use it for a security suite, and the next day I was full of a rash. Uh, so yeah. oh my god. Just so you see, sometimes the designers like no, thank God I didn't you, you, wear it there yeah. because it was gonna you happen. Had hives, yeah. yes. But I mean, these designers, we work with all the same ones, and sometimes they literally sent the two girls with the same exact one. Yeah, because when is there the, when they give you the list, yeah. you know, you're not gonna repeat. But but stuff for dancing, I go like to anybody like, please do something for me. <laughs> and we're back. It's really ahead. good and interesting. No, I was going to ask about Jamal and how the experience was with him, but that looks really fun. I do want to ask, what are your thoughts on um, 
your lip sync last week. I want to say it was one of the most polarizing lip syncs when it came to how people responded, viewers, um, throughout the whole season. And honestly, I think I read an article saying it was the highest viewed uh, episode in the last 10 years, Diva. So congrats yes. to you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Now, some people are saying you broke the curse of not having a wig on and winning a lip sync. And then other people are saying... Um, Plasma deserved to stay because of track record. At the end of the day, it's lip sync for your life, not lip sync for your track record. What are your thoughts on what everyone was saying? Kara. Um, now we had time to think about it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, every. <laughs> um, I mean, the, the, the proof was right there. I mean, I kicked her ass and I love Plasma. Um, the wig reveal, yes, I. Should have had another wig under it, but I wasn't thinking at the time. I'm like, okay, what can I do to stand out more? Because I already knew I was going to eat her up dancing. So, <laughs> Wait, can you say that again one more time? You was going to what? I was going to eat her up dancing. So I was just trying to find like some gimmicks to do, and I seen the um, little black leaves, and I just put them under my wig. That and, that, like, and then that, that was not a beanie. That was actually my um, stocking cap. It was a snatch. Okay, work, so I should. I thought it was gonna come off as well, but it didn't, because I have hair and my hair was braided. So, so wait, that wasn't planned. The the leaves that that you came up with that, like, like, like right then and there, yeah. you were like, oh, work. Okay, it's a thing. <laughs> All right. Now, what are your thoughts on people um, like Trisha Paytas and her comments saying you should have went home? <laughs> not who? Who? <laughs> yes. Um. I mean, at the end of the day, it's lip sync for your life. Yes, Plasma has two wins. I mean, I have a win, too. Correct. And I had, what, two? Um, another, uh, um, I was in the top twice or once or twice. And it really don't matter because at the end of the day, it's what are you doing right now? You have to sell the lip sync. Correct. Yeah. And I think people need to understand that they shouldn't take it out on Maya or Plasma. It's the consistency of the judges. Like, Five episodes earlier, Q got to stay when we clearly saw that Amanda won that, but I feel like they took track record into consideration. This time, it was a lip sync for your life in my 01, and that's on the consistency of them, not the contestants. And I, and I, I want to ask you, when, when you had those little like hiccups and you saw what happened with Q and Amanda, what did that do to you? Were you like, yeah. fuck? I lost this right now, my wig fell off. Or were you like, if I don't flip three more fucking times, <laughs> like, what went through your head? Honestly, honestly, when I'm performing, I don't think. And I just go with the flow. I feel like whatever I'm doing, I'm gonna do to stand out and look better than the other girl or whoever I'm performing with. Do you go into, you know, it, you've been in the bottom a couple times. Do you go into it, I, Listen, if I was able to flip and do the shit that I, you could do, I'd be like, bring it on, bitch. What's good? You know what I mean? Like, did you always go into a lip sync like, bitch, I got this? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I have to. Okay. <laughs> did you, let, me, let me piggyback off that. Did you go into the competition kind of like that? Because you're like, shit, I don't have my stuff. I can dance. I can flip. I'm the OG from the 305. I'm going to go show my shit. Is that... Um. Going into the comp. Ooh, we're back. <laughs> well, that was fun. Yeah. Good. Yeah, that was really good. I enjoyed that. How how was how was it then? In I know you're focused as you're performing. You're focused on yourself, right? Um, first first question. How long did you guys rehearse for that? Um. Ooh. Ooh. Plasma <laughs> said y'all got uh, like that two days right. for the rusical. Rusical's usually like two um, days. Sometimes if it's on a weekend, they'll give you like three because right. it falls, you know. Um, for this one, they gave us two days. Two days, yeah. I mean, I thought it was good. Did you guys like it? Yeah. yeah. I, I thought it was going to be on the stage. I liked that they kind of gave them like the Super Bowl setup from All Stars. Yeah, that was, was really fun. nice. Yeah. And a little Dallas Cowboy cheer. That's a whole nother stage. That's not the main stage. Right. That's a different stage. Y'all have to take the golf uh, carts to another building to do yeah. that? It, yeah. It's next door. Okay. Right. <laughs> the lazy girls take the golf cart. <laughs> Ooh. No. Uh, okay, really quick. Now, as you're performing, did you, did you clock anything and be like, oh, Miss Thing? She kind of fucked up, or she was not really doing the most. I mean, everyone here noticed Q, but. Um. Yeah, like um, standing on the side at the time, 
because we were able to watch the other girls. Um, definitely Q. I was like, whoa. <laughs> so, <laughs> but when I was performing, like, I just wanted to have fun and let go. Because I remember the last, for the musical, they told me it looked like I was counting and wasn't having fun. So I remember to just let go and have fun. Nymphie has been one to kind of just kind of play around and joke around. And then when the task is finally at hand, she does, you know, she's up to her little bar and she does her thing. How was, how was that for you watching her on the side? Um, I feel like it was more funnier there okay. because we actually seen it full versus um, sitting on TV with what they put on TV. But looking at it now, I, I just think Nymphia is a, comedi a, a comedian. Um, she was definitely trolling us. And, uh -huh. <laughs> and um, I think I helped her with these lyrics. Ooh. I'm not sure. Oh. Did you? Nymphia you you confirmed that. You said you wrote them? Is that what you said? I think I helped her with You said it. you wrote them? Yeah. No, I'm just well. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you wrote them for I her. I heard. <laughs> like Safira sewed your dress. Oh, no, I no. did that. <laughs> I just play it. Now, Jessica, you also did really good on the girl group challenge, as well as writing your lyric. Did you win that week, or were you just in the top? Do you remember? Uh, the girls group, no, I wasn't on the, on the top, but I felt that I should. <laughs> I, I did choreography. My my verse was good, um, but no, I'm, I'm, it, this is my favorite challenges like dancing and singing. That, that was a great um, challenge. That was a great episode. Who was the standout for uh -oh. you out of the girls? Everybody one. did great. Actually, I thought everyone right. I thought Kiwi was gonna be bad, but she did great <laughs> in her own style. Yeah, of <laughs> Somebody's, it wasn't a mess. The, the effort was no, there, she, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, she was like... <laughs> Jessica. But the, the, with the dancers, so she was... I like her, right? No? I, I, think, I think she tried to hide... I love her. I think she tried to hide with the jacket, and I just think it made it look worse, actually. I think we would have seen the movements a little more without the jacket, right? Was, what did you guys think? The jacket was... No, yeah, I agree. Your name. We were distracted by the wig. <laughs> the wig. She's got the wildest wig choices. Y'all love the drama. Listen to you guys. Y'all are wild. And listen, just for YouTube's sake, um, that runway right now, you audience, you are some shady motherfuckers. Uh, they're honest. I promise you, they're there honest. were a couple of runways where you could hear crickets Cricket, in yeah. this fucking room. They were like, oh, but someone even said, again? <laughs> <laughs> then let's talk about it. Nithia, yeah, let's like, talk. We, we love Brandy, but seeing Let, the so let's, let's I, I want to ask, I wanna ask our guests really quick, especially Maya, you being there. How was that? Were you like? What the fuck again? Like, what was what was your thought process? Listen, I love Nymphia. That's my girl. But when I seen bananas, I said, "Damn, bitch, again." I'm gonna but wear like an avocado outfit this time. <laughs> yes, avocado. <laughs> green, green, green. Like, we love branding, but how many times can you hit us over the head with it? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's been a, a bit much at this I, point. I, I'm really interested in hearing what the judges are gonna say. They're going to say exactly what point, we said. At this point, it's kind of like, enough is enough, this isn't branding. I, this I, is think, just... it was, I think it was uh, planning on whoever picked the runway because she did bananas in the challenge, so they're like, okay, what's your true color? We already know. Yeah. yeah. So they yeah, saw it totally. twice. Well, we, we've been playing a game with the girls, uh, chop or mop. Chop, like, no good. Mop, you wanna take it from them. Um, with all the runways. So if you liked it, you wanna mop it. If you didn't like it, chop. chop. All right, let's start with Dawn. She had chop. the blue. Chop. <laughs> Jessica? Chop. Chop. <laughs> Y'all didn't like her little because sleep I know paralysis. Because I know you're going to be like, what is the other word? Mop? Mop. Yeah. If I give mop to everybody, you're going to be, uh. <laughs> no, no, mop means that you want it. You, you like it, it so much she that you want, want it. She don't want that. Well, on her look great. On me, I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> she said chop it. She don't want it. I love that she thinks that response is so much better. Okay. Girl, they're coming for you now. <laughs> okay, who's next? Who's next? We have uh, Morphine. Mop. Definitely. Mop. Mop. It was beautiful. It was, it was beautiful. Uh, Nymphia. 
<laughs> Girl, let's just make a banana split. <laughs> All right. We just need some dairy, bitch. Our thoughts on Plain Jane. Plain Jane. <laughs> Wait. Okay, it sounds divided. Green. It's divided. I, I thought it was. I thought it was beautiful. I like, Sorry. I, I, I like the dress. You gotta be objective. You can't be like, I don't like her, so I'm gonna say it. Cause yeah. that's what some of y'all hoes are it? doing. You can't be mad that she got money and a couple good friends, okay? <laughs> y'all, y'all can't be mad she, that she's a shady bitch yeah. and looks good. Okay, uh, Q. Q. Do you even remember? I don't remember. She had Q. the it, hat. It was yeah. a hat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, top. Batty made a good point. She said if it was another model, it probably would have sold for her. I think maybe if she had modeled it a little more, I See, think this she is was where, trying to do too this much. This is where it gets difficult and you hold them to a different standard. As a designer and her making her own shit, I'm like, that's a chop. Mm-hmm. I, I would have expected a little more. It sucks, but it's the truth, right? It would have looked great on you. Yeah. <laughs> because no, no, cover t- her face. <laughs> In the words of Jessica Wilde, it might look good on her, but it don't mean You're I want mean. it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did you want Safira Crystal? Safira. Yeah. Yeah. That is drag, honey. Yes. She has given drag since she's walked in this place. We talked about um, the flower runway where they had to remove a couple petals. I mean, we've never seen drag this big, and it just keeps getting bigger and better. It really does. Yeah. How do you feel as a competitor seeing that on the runway? You're like, shit. I just wanted to trash all her drag. (laughs) But for for that runway, it was actually bigger. Like, it was huge. And they couldn't fit it in, so she couldn't wear it. The flower one? Yes, the flower. Okay, yeah. Wow, yeah, it's great. It's it's such good drag, so and, good. and it's just oh, it's just so fun to watch. Um, it, it, I just feel like, do you feel that it sets a tone for other contestants <laughs> auditioning? Like you're like, bitch, I can't do that. Like, we'll what do you think? Does it set it. a tone? I think I, <laughs> fuck, and we're back. Okay, okay, so let me ask you this: Is she gonna give? Are they gonna give a win to someone who had a glow up? Are they going to give a win to someone who has been consistently consistent? Well, we can't answer that. I know. You can't ask her that. No, I'm not. I'm just saying. Yeah. Like, that's why I want to start this How next do, segment we'll, off we'll, Let's start it this way. How do we feel about this criticism? Like, do we agree with it? It's confusing. Well, I think it fucked everything up because Nymphia got to leave the... the the, the, the runway very yeah. quickly. So, how did you feel about it, Maya, watching it and being there? Ooh, I think the um, <laughs> I think everything that the judges were saying was true. Yeah. Um, it's <laughs> it was it was the subtle tongue pop for me. Uh huh. You there, just sealed it. Let bitch. me ask you this: Was there any criticism that uh, maybe happened that we? that got edited out that we didn't get to see that you were like, man, that resonated with me really well, but it just, it didn't show it. I feel like um, a critique you got um, was really good. Uh-huh. And I, I, yeah, you know, I mean, the wig, no you know, the, the wig, but um, for the performance, she was good, and then they loved her runway. Yeah, but that was it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jessica, what what did you feel about uh, the the critiques? Did you agree with what you heard everyone say? Yeah, I think I think no one did like a horrible job, and yeah. and I think they deserve what the judges said to them. It wasn't like bad at all yeah. to anybody, yeah. so. It was, it was nice. Well, yeah, no one was bad. However, the person who got the most <laughs> negative critiques was Plain Jane, and she just gave away her immunity potion. Um, in that moment, Maya, were you like, girl, you messed up, or were you like, I see why you did this? Oh, yeah, listening to the judges, I was like, yeah, you probably should have drunk that, sis. <laughs> but the, honestly, the judges love her, so. Yeah. yeah. They, they, they said, like, even in her worst moment she's amazing they said in her work she's better than some of the girls that she's competing against very shady so i asked if you agreed with the criticisms do you ladies agree with that jessica i don't think you do i do (laughs) yeah Yeah. because she wasn't the best she should swallow that shit (laughs) but she she did good 
I like I like plain Jane, yeah. Well, like she she like herself more than yeah. I like her, but <laughs> she really like her, and I like that. I think it's very hard to determine who may be in She's the bottom pretty. with Jane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of it's kind of all over the place, especially with like. Did you guys agree with this when they're like, oh, morphine? You know, you were struggling and trying to find your. No, no, they're, they're trying when to make us fuck? believe that. No, I'm no, no. like, where yeah, the yeah. fuck did that come from? Like, and then trying the cr- to find her footing, and she was dr- no, she was not. She and last week she was so amazing, beautiful. Last week, yeah, and, and I, I just, oh, like, yeah. I feel like just sometimes <laughs> they really try to sell a narrative to you, and it, just this time you're like, oh, okay, bitch, you tried it. Yeah, and we're back. <laughs> Thank God. Okay. Was so Wait, uh, Jessica wanted to say something about the previous episode. What were you gonna say, Jessica? Were you gonna say something about it? Talking Do you about see that? her. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say something about the other. Yeah, no. I thought you were. No. Yeah, <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Okay. So, um, how do we feel? First, before we talk about how we feel, how did you feel? When all that went down and everyone was safe and whatnot, dumb hoes should have been lip syncing because I had to lip sync when I was in the bottom. So, cute and plain should have definitely lip synced it. And I think we all kind of know who would have went home. Who? Okay, really, really <laughs> quick. You know, I like to come up with conspiracy theories and you know my own little gig or whatever. Um, yes. I, I, but is it a conspiracy? Who no. knows? I don't know if we're gonna call it that. Tell me if you agree. Um, I think certain cast members surprised them, and yeah. c- it was impossible to put them in the bottom. Absolutely, you could not put her in the bottom again. Absolutely not. You could not have put morphine in the bottom. The people that they would have considered to put in the bottom, there was absolutely no way you can send them home. But your favorites, boo, were all in danger. Yeah. Plain Jane was in danger. Nymphia was in Jane, danger. And Q was in danger. And they said, how do we pull the stunt and keep these girls here? We're going to have to keep all of them here. And that's just how we're gonna have to do it. Now, do you agree, Jessica? <laughs> <laughs> Jessica, Jessica, Jessica. I just love Nisha's hate. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Do you Honey, agree? <laughs> that is passion. That is passione. Believe it or not, I love this shit. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I know you enjoy all this. So, conspiracy theory or not, what do you think, Maya? You were there. Do you think it was, do you think they were, you know? I think they, um, like you said, they didn't want to send any of the girls home because they couldn't put me in the bottom this time. So, you know, I, yeah. <laughs> this is contract right here. <laughs> I'm not trying to get in trouble, which, no, I totally respect that. But uh, Jessica, you're not under contract. Do you want to still? I, I'm still on the contract. Uh, <laughs> you want me to say? <laughs> <laughs> I want you to tell me if you had to put two of those girls in the bottom to lip sync against each other, which two would you have chosen? I feel nervous for you. That's oh, all fuck. We're back. <laughs> yeah, we're so back. Bad. We're back. Uh-huh. Just... Okay. Okay. All right. So let's uh, go ahead and say hello to YouTube and to all our VIP members. Hey. Shout out to all you guys. Thank you guys so much for being VIP. But special thank you to a few of those this week. Shout out to Garrett in Arkansas. Hi, Garrett. Hello to Poppy in the Dominican Republic. Thanks for watching. Oh, Poppy, that could be a few people. That's a whole lot That's of That's a them. whole island. Hey, girl. y'all. <laughs> Hello to Daphne in Alabama. Yeehaw, boo-boo. Hi, Ant- <laughs> Hi, Anthony in Los Angeles. And all the way in Melbourne, Australia. Thank you to Amir for watching. We appreciate you. Hello to FEMA in Argentina. Thank you for watching us. To Jacob in Japan. Hi, Jacob. Thank you for watching. As well as AJ in Pakistan. Thanks for being a VIP member. Hey, Pablo in Spain. I see you, boo-boo. <laughs> it just reminded me of like Miss Universe when it's like okay. Pablo and Spain! <laughs> like, <laughs> Spain! <laughs> you want to scream it out? I want you to do that for the next country. Oh, we're going to. Tim in Utah. Hi, all the way in Utah. 
Is that how they sound in Utah? <laughs> Just like that? Yeah, yeah. Um, Shane in Amsterdam. Yeah. That's, that gives Amsterdam, yeah. Hello to Stephen in Scotland. I don't know why I started this. Give it up for... Hi, Luke in Louisiana. Hi. Louisiana. <laughs> Louisiana, right? Yeah. Um, Carl in San Francisco. Hey. All the way from Nigeria. Hello to you, Allegra. Takeo in Japan. <laughs> That's how you do it when you're Miss Universe. <laughs> um, You've never... T- <laughs> All the pageant people get it. You guys I get do. it, right? <laughs> Everybody has seen Miss Universe. <laughs> Hello to Gabriel in Panama. We love you, boo boo. Gabriel and Gabriel. And Rashida oh. from the internet. Hey, Rashida. Thank you, Rashida. <laughs> literally says that. I didn't think we got Rashida from the internet. Thank you. But and also, I'd like to give a special shout out to my partner, Jeremiah, and all the cast of the Who's Tommy. It's their debut tonight on Broadway. Congrats to all of you. Mwah. And thank you to all of our VIP Congrats. members for continuing to watch. And if you haven't already, consider spending the one ninety nine so you can catch us on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. That's it. One ninety nine. That's one it. Nine, two dollar make you holla hole. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, Monday at five p.m. That's when you get all the tea. Do we have a disclaimer for this week? Um, disclaimer this week? No. Do we? Not that I know. I, don't know. I thought we did. <laughs> hey, also, also, thank you, I Carlos th- from Grinder. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Jessica was late. Thank you so much for telling us. You know what, Carlos? She's you got her here late. That's what it is. Okay, so I cannot with her. Okay. Speaking of coming in late, Jamal just walks in after the girls are like literally dripping over him. I literally (laughs) thought you. I thought you were saying he walked in here. (laughs) Did anybody else believe that? No, just me. Did you? Um, oh, okay. He seemed really sweet, and it seemed like everyone liked him. Um, who were one of your favorite guest judges up until this point, Maya? Ooh, Jamal, he's just too fine. But, <clears throat> like, um, I would say La Roach. La Roach, Tsunami yes. said the same as well. Yeah. yeah. You'd, I, like, you'd like to see them back as a guest judge as well? Absolutely. I think she, she, she well, La Roach knows about drag, you know, um... And, and he's in the fashion indu- industry, and he was fun. He was a fun judge. Like, it, it was moments that they didn't show, but, like, he was really hilarious and fun. Good to hear, good to hear. And we're back. Yeah, we're back. What are you guys talking about over there? Uh, we're, did, we'll Jessica, tell you, what we'll, did you we'll, notice? We'll, we'll tell you in a second. We'll tell you in a second. No, no, it, it doesn't have to do with this show. Um, um, but no, we'll tell you in a second. Um, okay, so, uh, Jamal, we saw, what, what did we just see right now? Don, Don, Don got the message. Don, the shady oh. lady of season 16. Do you think she's the shadiest girl, Maya? Um, Other than Plane? <laughs> Plane's on a whole nother flight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think Trixie was the one talking about it. She was like, Trixie's like, ooh, you guys think Plane is the villain? Don is the villain. <laughs> well, but I think for Don, she, Don have a, like a, a fun sh- type of shade. It's yeah. not like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. She means well. It is sometimes unsolicited, but she asks. She's like, "Can I be honest?" And if you say yes, you're opening the door. <laughs> we also ask everyone what their relationship is with uh, Plain You Jane. asked everyone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what their relationship no, Baddie's asked too. Um, I always ask what because I'm curious. <laughs> uh, what is your relationship like with uh, Plain Jane? Rewind that shit, bitch. <laughs> YouTube, rewind so you can hear it again. <laughs> um, um, we're cool. You all right? Um, you good? Are you coworkers or are you cool? <laughs> we're co- coworkers. Okay. Okay. I mean, uh, we we didn't have we never had an issue. We just yeah. never connected. Like I connected with the other girls. Yeah. Do you think it was because you saw how she was treating the other girls in the room? Go in, Batty. Um, no. No. She, she didn't have to come my way. Yeah, no, I know she, <laughs> yeah, she wasn't. But I was asking a couple of the girls that had come here if they had felt like, you know, when she was really digging into Amanda in the beginning, you know, she blatantly called her ugly, you know? Like, that, you know, yeah. the girls, some of the girls were like, oh, shit, we don't stand for that. And some of the girls were like, hee, 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 hee. So just kind of, I was just curious where you were with, with all that. Because, you know, um, dressing room shade is, is fun. But, I mean, it's different when it's on this caliber and everybody can see it, you know? Yeah. Um, I thought 
in the dress room, it was fun. Like all the like all the shade, I thought it was fun coming from her. But like watching it, it's kind of like okay, girl, you was kind of going a little too far with the shade. And I just kind of felt like it was a bully thing with Amanda. Yeah. It, it did kind of turn into a bully situation. Did you guys think it turned into a bully situation? It kind of did. Like, sometimes it was just unnecessary, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. And then Amanda lip synced and she shut her the fuck up, didn't yeah. she? She was like, <laughs> I love, yes. se- I love seeing that. I, I think it's so that. awesome the doors that Drag Race has opened for you yeah. girls. It's so and cool. And for YouTube, I know you didn't get to like see what was going on, but YouTube, we just kind of tuned into a little bit of ridiculousness and saw Miss Jessica Wilde, who's the guest on there. So uh, just to explain to YouTube what's going on. How Thank you, really Chicago. <laughs> How how was that experience, Jessica? It was great. It was fun. Um, it was my only day off that that week, and I was pissed off. <laughs> like, really? I, this is my day, and my manager was like, "Well, girl, you <laughs> you want to keep your brand out there? You should go, bitch." And now that I see it, I'm like. Yeah, I did the right thing. But didn't you still go to the bar afterward? Because I saw you afterward. (laughs) Bitch, I am always have time for that. She always has time for liquor and and go-go boys. That's what I learned from Jessica. (laughs) I had seen her at the Abbey, and I was like, girl, what you guy? I was doing that show, Ridiculo. The Ridiculo. La Ridiculeses. La Ridiculeses. (laughs) And I'm like, Ridiculous. I don't know how to to pronounce that. Ridiculousness. There you go. (laughs) All right, at this time, we're going to say bye to the front bar. We're going to do a Q&A. So if you guys at the front want to come back here and join us, please come back and join us. Please um, do. Kira and I are going to come out here in a moment. So if you guys have any questions for these two lovely ladies, please think about them. Um, but and we're gonna we, what a beautiful crowd we, we have do, tonight. Yes. Aren't they nice? They we yes. do have uh, a list of rapid questions for you guys. So we're just going to throw these questions out there to you. You guys answer them. We'll keep going through them and whatnot. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this started. And Renesha, I, yes. I, I think I have a gift for some people or something like that. You do, yes. Right? You do, yeah. You, 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 let, you let me know when we're going to do that. Okay, I yes. got you. Got it. We got you. Yes, 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 yes. We, yes. Um, I'm still promoting my brand, bitch. Five, 500 thoughts went through my head, but yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. So uh, we're going to start with you, Maya. This is from... How do you say that? Musin? Musin? Musin. Musin. Yeah, we kind of touched base on this earlier. Musin, Musin. Uh, uh, Nottingham. Nottingham. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, well, they asked about the designer that bailed on you. We kind of touched on that already, so we'll just skip that. But shout out to Musin who sent your question. Uh, we answered it earlier. Watch the whole thing. Oh, but I can, <laughs> add, I can add on to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. She does want to add to it, though. So, yes, tell us. So, anyone? You're good. <laughs> So for those who's into getting things designed, please do not go to Valentino Lane in Miami. (laughs) There it is! Wow. And there you go. And listen, but listen, I really, hold on. Before, before, guys, this is very serious. And because it's very serious, I want to make sure you heard correctly. Valentino Lane. (laughs) From the 305 is a no-go. Surprise, surprise. It's a chop. chop. It's a chop. Bitch. Oh, my God. That Valentino, was, I'm so that was sorry so for you. No, this is no, the no, tea no. and shade that we live for. Whoever wants to come for us now, go <laughs> ahead and do it. I don't care. <laughs> What's his name? Valentino Lane. <laughs> All right, this question is for Jessica from Yolanda. From and it's not from Valentino Lane. <laughs> okay, it's not from Valentino Lane. But, but Yolanda's from Vermont. And Valentino um, is her <laughs> brother. <laughs> her brother. Shady bitch. After being away from Drag Race for so long, what made you decide to go back to do All Stars? Because, because of that. <laughs> the designer? No, because it was so long that, you know, season two, it, I, I didn't even have, like, I just had my space those years. <laughs> Face you just me. aged yourself so fast. <laughs> oh my god, everybody's so, like, my, they're Googling it right now. What is that? <laughs> so I realized <laughs> that it was about time for me to, to show who I am right now, you know? Like. Absolutely. Yes, because I've, I've been always a, a good performer. I take my job very serious, I take the crowd very serious. I always gonna give you 
uh, oh my god, this hair, this human hair. <laughs> uh, and but on season two, like my English, it was zero. It was difficult for me to express myself. So just to have the opportunity to be back and to understand what the fuck it was happening around me <laughs> and to express myself, that was enough for me. But then I also realized that I can do anything. You know, I can be scared, but I'm not gonna pay attention to those fears to follow my goals because throw me through the lions and I'm gonna survive, I'm gonna do it. So I learned, I learned a lot about myself and I'm glad that I shared that experience with my sister, Nisha Lopez. Because to have somebody there that is like your, your family, it feels good, you know? You, you, be, because it's a lot, you, you all know. It's a lot to be there, especially to be there alone. But All Stars, it was like an op just an opportunity to, to show my, my true self. That's all, yeah. And, and you know what, I, I do want to tell you, Jessica, uh, besides your family and your friends you know, that are close to you, there's so many people out there that are so proud of what you've done, simply, you, and there, for many reasons, but like one of the things that you just mentioned, the language barrier between the gals that come from Puerto Rico to Drag Race, it, it's especially hard. And the thing about it is, while you're sitting there understanding everyone is trying to understand and translate what you just said. So the jokes don't land, some things just don't get understood, they go over the head, but you, you did your homework, you were ready to be there. She's been, I think the Puerto Rican that's gone the furthest out of all of us. And from being from Puerto Rico and just being a Latino, we are so proud of you, you've really done Thank it. Thank you so you've much. You've really turned it, we love you. And, and that's why I'm, I'm proud of myself because, because of that. Uh, I'm not ashamed that Spanish is my first language. Hello. So, doesn't make me an idiot or an stupid if I cannot express myself in English the same way that I express myself in Spanish. I, lead, I know two languages or languages. Uh, uh, whatever you want, baby, because we languages. know exactly. Exa or you languages, go. whatever. <laughs> At least I can, you know, this. So I felt like, wait a minute, be proud of what you're Absolutely. doing, be proud of, of who you are. And I'm fucking Puerto Rican, y hablo español. <laughs> que rico, que rico. But, but, but baby, uh, I love you, you don't speak Spanish, okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm not attacking the people that just speak English, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying that, you She's know, they put that canceled. on us. Like, <laughs> okay, this one's for Maya. Uh, Teddy, Boricua. Akuma. Akuma. Ak what is it? Akuma? Akuma. Akuma. Like bear. Yeah. Teddy Akuma. Hey. Uh, they want to know, were you really that quiet in the early parts of the filming? Or is it purely the edit? Because I've enjoyed watching you shine these last few weeks. Um, yes, I was, I was quiet in the beginning. Yeah. Definitely. Because, I, like I said earlier, mentally I wasn't prepared for it. Yeah. Because of the incident with the seamstress. And then also... Um, I never um, said it to anyone, but that week of me going to Drag Race, I ended up leaving the club basically. Long story short, I was going to stay at my mother's house, and I was getting out of the car, and I see a guy coming, so I got back in the car, and something said to just drive off, and I didn't, but I ended up seeing him like walking because it's a one-way street, and so I'm thinking he's just gonna keep walking. and. Next thing you know, I look in my side mirror and I see him running to my car with his hands in his pants. So I just drove off. And that was on my head because it was like, what, what's he going to like, either rob or kill me? And literally that whole day, I tell you no lie, I cried. And I'm not a crier. Yeah. So it was just a lot with me going into that competition. And, uh, and I hope that everyone really takes this in, that you guys just don't really know what is going on with the contestants when they're on this show, besides from what you see. There's so many more layers. Um, so for those that pass judgment or are so quick to, you know, pick and choose and this and that, you just really never know what's going on. Um, I commend you again for going. Period. And Aisha, this is, I don't know, if this, is, this is my opinion, you know. We don't know each other, like, completely, but people confuse what they see in Miami. You flipping everywhere, like, maybe... 
that's your personality. Like you are a quiet person, shy, but but they see this person on stage like being wild and crazy, and th they think that you have to be that 24 hours, and it's it's not the truth. Sometimes I remember one person came to me like years ago, and it was good for me. But he came like, you are Jessica Wild. Why on the microphone you are very shy? And I'm like, because I was scared to be in front of all of you with a microphone. N now you better shut me up because I love to talk. But, <laughs> but yes, you know, he was like, you are wild with dancers, jumping everywhere. And when they give you the microphone, you are shy. But I am kind of quiet when I'm out of drag. That's me. My friends hate hanging out with me when I'm out of drag. <laughs> because you're so quiet and shy. Yes. Yeah. I mean, everyone doesn't, it's not, we're not all the same. Like, everyone is not huge and loud and like, it, 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 this is, yeah, it's all over the place. You know what I mean? Um, it's, like, it should, it's like that with everything, right? Like, um, what's that? There's an actor. I forgot his name. Fuck, there's this actor. I got to get it for you guys. I'm going to figure this out. Who, he can't even watch himself on screen. Like, he, like he, he has, like, anxiety attacks. This is an actor who gets up in front of people. You know what I mean? Like, everyone who? is just different. What is it? Bill, Bill is it? Hader. No, no, no. It's not Bill. It's not Bill Hader. But, the, but does he do that, too? Okay, yeah. No, this guy is... Um, oh, he, he was in the, the, the Gucci movie. He was... The, what's his name? Adam Driver. Adam wow. Driver suffers from like you anxiety. You get a bag of chips, bitch. Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah. He's one of those that you can't even. He can't even watch himself because he'll have an anxiety attack. Like, ah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's like, it's so hot. <laughs> okay, we have the next one. The next one is for uh, Maya, and this is from Mahid in Saudi Arabia. Yes. Work. Uh, it is. Was it scripted when playing Jane? <laughs> Wish for the next contestant to trip. And then Nymphia tripped. I don't remember that. Do, do you remember that? I know, I know yeah, Plain Jane yeah. said she wanted the next person to um, fall. No, it was a script. And, and no. she really did trip? Yes. Beard. Hey, <laughs> I love that. Um, another question from Alan Batista, 1652, from Maya. How did you get into the ballroom scene, and what is your relationship with that? Um, ooh, in 2012, I want to say, I started to... Well, one of my friends, Jasmine McKenzie, she brought me to the ballroom scene. And I was always a dancer. And it was, easy, it was always easy for me to learn new dances and tricks and stuff. So she introduced me to ballroom. Um, I started to see videos. And the first person that I started to mimic was Leomi. Um, yes. <laughs> and um, my mother, Katrina, ex-Ebony. <clears throat> And so I started to walk balls. Um, my first category I was doing was performance, which is Vogue. And then I, I did a couple of um, realness and runways. And right now, well, the last ball I walked was like four years, three, four years ago. And right now I'm just like focused on, on myself and taking my career this to the journey next level. right now. Yeah, I love yes. that, Diva. Thank you. This is for Jessica from Art of America. Do you, or Melinda Verga? Is that right? Amara? <laughs> Art of Amara, Amara, whatever. Um, sorry, but hi. Um, Jessica, do you feel any sort of way towards Candy for choosing you to go home? I fucking hate her. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hate that bitch. <laughs> Actually, I, I adore, I love Candy. We have um, a good friendship. I think she's a person that I can trust, but people, people don't know the real candy that we know, you know? I, and I prefer a friend that is gonna tell me a anything in my face, but candy is one of those people that she take care of you. She take care of her friends. Even my friends, when they come, what do you wanna drink? Baby, come here. And we, we spend like a week together on the, in the cruise with Jimbo. We, we did like the, the Caribbean cruise, and I was all the time with Candy. And sometimes people is in shock, like, you should shade each other. You should hate each other. <laughs> Jessica, why you are with Candy? And I'm like, I love Candy. We are friends. It's just a show. And you have to make decisions, especially at, at that point of the competition. Yeah. 
or Jessica or Jimbo. Whatever decision, the world it was gonna hate her yeah. because people like to hate her just for hate her, and she deserved it. But <laughs> no, not joking. But yeah, no. Uh, Candy, I love you. Cheers for Candy Mills. Yes, Dominican Republic, mami, te amo. <laughs> well, it, this is a little bit of tea. I don't know if I told you this, Spill. but Candy, we, we talked about this, about her decision and why she, and what she told me was, she said, I had a better chance at winning if I kept Jimbo and got rid of Jessica because I could see myself winning against Jimbo. I can't see myself beating Jessica. That's what she told me. Now, you know it was a final number. It was like a final gig, final oh, performance. Baby, you know. And we know that Jimbo is, I mean, Fred Astaire, hello. <laughs> um, so she was too, too old of a reference. I got it. Taka, 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 shuffle ball, uh, But, you know, you get it. And so she's like, well, you know, that's how You know what is the sad, the sad part for me? Like, to get that far and to know that the last challenge is what I love to dance, to perform, to sing. It was a little hard for me. But when you are there, like a month and a half, I'm just like, I'm just here, I just want to go home. <laughs> like, I'm fine, I'm, th this is good. And we had the opportunity to do the talent at that point. So I felt like the talent, it was kind of my last yeah. show. Yeah. So I feel good. And I think you agree with me. I'm super happy that Jimbo is the winner. Absolutely. Right now she's on tour with her circus. That bitch works so hard. To be in, in, on a pool at 12 p.m. with that fucking breast <laughs> to make people happy, she's very commit, committed to drag. <laughs> I mean, yeah, her, yeah. Her, we her work ethic is... Ridiculous. Amazing. That bitch doesn't stop. And being on tour is great and all, but is she making her own tortilla chips like you? That's kind of <laughs> iconic. Wow. Baby, I'm like Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. I'm a businesswoman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, why why didn't you bring some more? Did you just she bring one? Right back? I have a We're lot of Did you just here. bring one back? Yes. Oh, it is just the tortilla chips. If you want the guacamole, order before 9.30. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The guacamole is extra. So if, yeah. you, <laughs> yes, if you cannot afford the guacamole, the guacamole tonight we have free guacamole for all of you. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, no, no, no. That's not true. The, we are not giving away the green no fucking stuff. guacamole for y'all. If I you want guacamole, you got 10 minutes to go to the bar and order it. <laughs> and most of all, pay for it. Uh, but besides that, we do have chips for a few of y'all. And they, they are good. Maybe these, these They're bugs They're extremely is... hard to open. Me and Kara were trying to open you want a one? earlier. I know you're giving me like a lot of love expressions from there. Come here. I'm not going to throw these to you. I have you. a couple questions in the audience. If Are we? <laughs> uh, we have Jessica. And it tastes good. We're, we're gonna try to do these more. More. We have more of these. So let's oh, do this real yeah. quick. Jessica, would you be a judge on the panel of Drag Race Puerto Rico? That is from Julie Shunchinuki. I don't even know how to say that. If I'm gonna be a judge, no, maybe I'm. Would you ever be a judge on Drag Race Puerto Rico? Would you? No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna be the host no. of that <laughs> fucking show. <laughs> It's gonna be like, no, Nation, it's gonna be like Drag Race Mexico. It's gonna be Nation and Jessica Wilde. We're gonna be Work. the host. Yes. Why not? Yeah. Okay, this is for everyone uh, from Chelsea. What was your home bar that you started your drag career from? What was the home bar? Do you remember? <clears throat> um, it, it, it'll. It was the club called The Vault in the Miami Vault? downtown. In Miami. Is it still there? No. No, gone. Gone. Jessica, what was the first one? Bocachos. <laughs> I did a show in Bocachos. <laughs> <laughs> that was like my first show. Yeah. <laughs> Puta. But my, my home bar is, and it's still in my, my heart, Crash Club in Puerto Rico. Crash. Crash. Those years when I started, the name it was Eros. 
But because right, it, right, right. It was crash, then it was Eros, then crash, crash again. again. So that was, I remember my first show with Nina, Nina Flowers, we love you. Love you, Nina. <laughs> Nina gave me my first um, opportunity and I remember it was Drama Drag Thursdays. Yeah. It was packed and she, and, and she gave me my, my first um, show. And I remember at the end of that show, everybody was screaming, having a good time. And the next day I woke up, I felt so complete and so full that I said, with Jessica, I'm everything. I'm a dancer, I'm a singer. I think this is my thing, you know? And that was more than 20 years ago. And well, because you started as a dancer first, yeah, right? I yeah, I started dancing. I used to dance for Nina, for Druxila, for all the drags in Puerto Rico. And, and one day I decide, I like, the, I like this art. This art form is amazing. And now maybe it's cool, but those years it wasn't. So I was scared even for people to know that Dave and Jessica was the same person. And now because of Drag Race, everybody knows and I'm proud of that. And, and thank God that I'm a drag queen. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Okay, we're going to get some questions from the audience now. And Do Maya, you, you're still in Miami. You always have been in Miami, correct? Yes, correct. Oh, yeah, she told us it was the vault. Was that the what vault? Yes, the vault. The vault. Yeah, which no longer is there anymore. What about what was your first bar ever? That um, you Rumors at? Nightclub in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Rumors. Is it still there? Yeah, it's still there, still I think. Still there. Hold Caramel, on. first uh, bar. The first bar I worked at treated me like crap. The second bar I worked at was called The Vo. The Vo. Yeah. I thought she was going to say, Roscoe! <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what, was, what city was that in? Uh, Biloxi, Mississippi. Oh, word. Yeah, oh, yeah. shit. Okay. All right, questions All right, from we the audience. Question. Stand up for me, babe, and tell the girls your name. My name is Stephanie, no, and I'm from Gurney, Illinois. My question is, is that we see that Trixie has her own motel. What is another business you guys would like for drag queens to take over? Work. Ooh. I love that. Jessica's taking over chips. Right. <laughs> I have so many business. Don't read the ingredients, please. Oh, it's not on the back. It's not on the back. That's she why. Didn't include them. There Don't are do no that. ingredients. There are no baby. ingredients. Bitch. There's nothing. Listen. Don't do if that. If y'all have anal no bitch, it's sorry. I'm just gonna let you. If you are lactose intolerant, don't don't do it because they are full of leche. <laughs> uh, wait a second. This bitch. <laughs> They're full of what? This bitch. If you. <laughs> Vaca. Meanwhile, everyone's opening them up now. Real disgusting. Now everybody's like, let's do it. Next question, please. Right over here. This is Nick. Oh, wait. Oh. They didn't answer the oh, question. Wait. Yeah, Maya. What, what do you want to get into? What would you... Um, the first one, I, well, I have a few, but I am I want my main focus to be my own shoe line. I love a heel, a nasty heel. Yes. Yes. Shoes. <laughs> love it. Jessica? Well, I'm in the, fo in the food industry. Food. <laughs> so I want baby to have a, like a taco truck. <laughs> because I think it's going to sell good. <laughs> Nisha, how about you? What are you, what are you, what are you I doing? I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> I see Nisha doing like something like fashion. Like, <sighs> yeah. Not there. I, well, I'm, three, I'm trying to answer the question. Like, un something unconventional is great. Like, I love um, I, uh, honey... Honey got into politics, Honey in, in San Francisco. She got into politics. That's something so unexpected. Um, and then you expect people not to do very well in something like that. And she's such a smart individual um, that I like stuff like that, where you just do something so unexpected. You're like, wait, a drag queen is doing what? You know, so that stuff like that, I really, really enjoy. Yeah. Okay. What about you? Um, I would run a restaurant one day. I'm, I'm sickening in the kitchen. I, that's not too unconventional, yeah. but that's what I'm going to do one day. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And what about you, Batty? You know, I would love to have a, 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 a truck, a food truck. I love to Batty? cook as well. I thought you said daddy. No, Jessica. <laughs> that's later. <laughs> that's later, baby. No, I, I would, after a few shots, that's Bobby. what I usually call her. <laughs> okay, next question. Right over here. This is Nick. Um, who's our question for, and what is it? Um, my question is for Nasha, Maya, and Jessica. Um, you are all wonderful performers, especially Nasha. If you question Nasha's performance, watch Continental 2013 and ask yourself, can I do that? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, so you guys are all wonderful performers, and I want to know, what lip sync, whether you've seen it in person or not, do you completely yeah. disagree with the results? What lip sync do we completely disagree with the results? Yeah. Out of the whole franchise. 
anything. You are dressed impeccably, by the way. You look absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Um, okay, one that we disagree with. Damn. Okay, just because it's season 16, Q, I love you. I think you are ridiculously talented. But, baby, you were supposed to go home packing after that. <laughs> it, listen, it's the truth, and you know it. You can't just be like, oh, well, this person's makeup is bad. They should go home. Like, no. That lip sync, to me, if, if I'm thinking of the most recent, like, that one to me was unfair. Oh, I got another good one. Oh, she's going to be mad at me, too. Say it. Say it. Anitra? Nope. Oh. Alyssa Hunter. Oh. Alyssa Hunter should have never went home yes. again. Yes. 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 Do you know who she... Who? Who sent her home? Carrie Colby. Yeah. Baby, you're not going to... Go back and watch that lip sync. And I love Carrie Colby. That's my niece. But, baby, Alyssa Hunter won that lip sync. Girl. <laughs> Maya, yeah, yeah, Jessica, what about you? Actually, we're going to play it right now. Roll the tape. No. <laughs> uh, you are I'm so wild, kidding. bitch. I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm just kidding. We can't do that. Come Roll on. The tape. <laughs> Who do you think? <laughs> She's like, I love you so much. You. Who? Who? Oh. <laughs> Don't hide. <laughs> he tried ducky. My favorite's a black girl, like, hey, you know, it's this bitch right here. <laughs> <laughs> She's, no, I love that he said, he said like this, don't hide, okay? <laughs> <laughs> um, you took my choice. Um, okay. Um, Amanda and Q. Amanda and Q. Yeah, that was, yeah, that one was a little hard to, to watch. Yeah. What about you, Jessica? Is there any lip sync that you remember that you're like, oh, that one? Oh, so your Puerto Rican sister, Alyssa with, Hunter, should have went with home? With all Is that these franchises, I'm just <laughs> thinking. Because I was thinking about the, that one. I, I love Q, but Amanda Tori, I'm sorry, baby. She should stay. Like, she did amazing. And that one, our sister, Alyssa Hunter, they tried to make, oh, the, the money machine didn't work. That's bullshit. Yeah. It, she, she did amazing. And we love Carrie, of course. But like the same way that she read me on the fashion reviews, uh, Alisa should stay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I love you, Carrie Colby. No, she don't. No, she don't. No, we love each other. <laughs> All right, we got a question right here. Stand up, baby girl. Thank you, Nick. <laughs> Hi, my name is Mia. I'm from Chicago. Hi. This is my first time. I'm here with my dad. Yeah, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, welcome. Hi, dad. You should have never told him that was your dad. <laughs> What's Jessica up, just daddy? got hot. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> My question is for Maya. Um, how's the share impersonation improved? Can we get a little taste? <laughs> oh, my I'm God. Great. Great. I'll, uh, let me try. Let's do it. I'm great. Yo. That was share, y'all. Listen, Ooh. I love that they made you do it more than one time, bitch. Then you were like, do it again. How was it on set? Were they dying? Yes, we literally... Well, Rue literally laughed for like 10 minutes straight. Like, literally. And it was something... Ugh, it was something else that I said that made her laugh even more. Yeah. I totally forgot. Um, oh, it's the um, stupid, I think. Shut up, stupid. <laughs> You know what? I, I saw you so uncomfortable on that moment. That remind me that RuPaul asked me, like, how you can do a country accent? And I'm like, I barely speak English, bitch. <laughs> and she was like, do it, do it for me. And I was like, I'm so happy to be here. Yeah. <laughs> and I felt so stupid. <laughs> and I'm like, it's uncomfortable when they like do it again. <laughs> Meanwhile, she's laughing the whole time. Like, do it again, do it again. <laughs> oh, do we have time for one more question? Yes. Do we have our last yeah. question's right over here. What is your name and who's our question for? My name is Luis Felipe. And my question is for everyone. So out of this whole season, we could do all the girls or just who's remaining. Mary Fuck Kill. Um, how about oh. Kai, uh, Kai Kai Kiki Slay? There you go. Yeah. I don't think we should kill any of these Kai girls. Kai Kai Kiki 
Slay. Slay, yeah. Oh, is oh, it because yeah. it's no curse words? Yeah, is that why? It's friendly. Do, is that why? Oh, then oh, we can <laughs> say it. Okay, word. I'm like, are we not cursing? My manager's like, you can do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> okay, let's choose. Okay, uh, from this season, marry, fuck, kill. Is that it, right? Nah, fuck that. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that yes! game, bitch. <laughs> what was that? Kai Kai Koko? Ah, it's a fucked up game, girl. <laughs> Ain't nobody Kai 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 playing Kai. that fucking game, girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, what about you? Uh, I'm going to let my thing about it. Jessica, from our season, who would you marry? Who would you kill? And who would you fuck with? Right? Yeah. I'm gonna kill Candy Muse. <laughs> I'm gonna marry Jimbo. Aww. She's she's rich and sweet. <laughs> and I'm gonna fuck Bearback Naisha Lopez. Jessica! I told you. I told you this. Oh bitch my is, God, Jessica! That's your fault. Jessica, to not asking me about season six, bitch. Jessica, not again. Okay. <laughs> you I'm are kidding. fucking wild. <laughs> oh my God. You bitch, know she deserved the pain. It. She was, she was scared of the fuck Mary kill. Yeah. She took it another level. Look at that. Yeah, she's like, Mary uh, back. Oh, oh my God. Maya, how can you top that? <laughs> I'm just picturing it. Oh. Okay. You want to see the video? No, 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 no. Oh, I cannot with these holes. I cannot. I really can't. Maya, who you gonna fuck? <laughs> um, I would say Mirage. Mirage okay. look like a little slut. So you're gonna fuck Mirage. Mm -hmm. Who you gonna marry? Woo. Uh, <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's my sister. <laughs> well, they all are. But I would say... So you're fucking Mirage. You're marrying... Dawn, somebody said. No. <laughs> Nymphia, Nymphia. <sighs> Ooh. Hershey. I think there's some we things can go to she kill. can't talk we, about. We can yeah. go to kill. Okay, let's go to kill. <laughs> Who are you going to kill? Plain Jane. Plain Jane. <laughs> You can marry the rest of them. <sighs> Mary. Yes. I'll say tsunami. Tsunami. I'll say yes. Tsunami. Cute. Cute. That was a cute one. Yeah. Sickening. All right, ladies and gentlemen, did you guys have a good time tonight? I said, did you have a good time tonight? Gorgeous. Well, the night has not ended. We will all be performing with the Friday Night Lights cast tonight at 10.30. So join us at 10.30 with our guests. Please make some noise for Jessica Wilde. And keep that going for Maya Iman LaPay. Yeah. I want to say thank you to all of our VIP members for joining us. Uh, and paying that VIP gig. Um, is there anybody else that we have to say thank you to? We're good, right? No, that's everyone. Yeah. No, and make please. some noise for me. Uh, what? I was going to say, and please join us next week for our special guests, Brooklyn Heights and Melinda Verga. Hi, yeah. Melinda yeah. Verga. Yeah. Tickets are sold out, but standing room is still available. Yeah. And I want to say something. Yeah, yeah, say something. Thank you, Sean, for having me again. Because to me, to be here twice in a short time means a lot because I was about to beg. Like, please, can, can I be back to Roscoe? I love this place. Thank you so much for having me, Neisha, and all my family from Roscoe. Yeah. And I'm glad that we, uh -huh. we are together, sister. We are proud of you. This, and this yes. is why. It's like, even when you don't want to like the bitch, you still have to. Like, she's just so lovable. My God, it's just disgusting. You, Ladies see, and you see what happened after that sex? <laughs> she's in love. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the same thing that happened with Carlos, bitch. Carlos, I love you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Miss Caramel to fill. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, Maya. Thank you, Jessica. Y'all keep it going for Batty Davis. And please keep that going for my partner in crime, Nisha Lopez. 
Thank you, thank you guys so, so much for joining us. Don't forget to stay for the show. But right now, we're going to flip this room upside down. So we want everyone to make their way outside of this room. I'm going to say thank you to YouTube and bye, YouTube! Bye, YouTube! Bye, bye. bye. we love you. Be generous to your...